Well, as we're talking movies, we're talking about a new film now. It's a film about a, a man from Holbeck. For the last six years, uh, he's been the only person living on a deserted Scottish island. Uh, wanderer Christopher Ellis survives on what he catches in the sea and grows on the island. Remarkable. Well, for a while there was another person on the island, and that was filmmaker Matthew Houston, who spent uh, a fair amount of time with Chris uh, to make a documentary film. The documentary is called My Island. It's being shown at the Leeds Film Festival and tell us more. Matthew joins us now. Um, tell us more about Chris and the circumstances in which he lives entirely on his own, Matthew. Well, uh, Chris arrived on the island um, about six years ago and before that he was uh, travelling around and um, he was just a general wanderer and um, he by chance met um, the man who actually owns the island, who, who's an Englishman, and uh, he was hitchhiking in the in the rain, and uh, he met him on the on the road, and he said, "Where are you going?" And he said, "I'm going to sleep out rough." And he said, "Well, why don't you come and live on this island?" And um, he did. He turned up a couple of weeks later, and um, and he stayed there for for six or seven years. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, so he's he's he has been the only guy on the island. Well, I mean, tell us about his shelter. What, what's what's that? Well, like? he found an old. I mean, the, the the cottages that were on the island were were, were used back in the day by um, um, people who who turned kelp into into uh, oil, um, and so there was an industry on the island, um, and then obviously that industry disappeared and uh, all the uh, all the buildings became ruins and um, he found this building and and made it habitable and he you know lots of things wash up on the island that he can then use um, that he's used over the years to make it habitable wow where, where exactly is this island uh, matthew and, and how do you get there if you want to go there well you go to i actually contractually i couldn't actually uh, d tell you where the island right. is, and I'll, I'll explain why that is. But basically, it's it's clo it's off the Isle of, of Mull. It's off the west coast of Ireland of of, um, of Scotland. And um, it, basically, he's in a. It, there was a dispute um, because of the council um, were trying to get um, council tax because he'd obviously made a dwelling, and um, there are no services on this island. You have to get there. You know, it takes a good day yeah. to get to the island, and, and there are no services there, but still the council were trying to get <laughs> money. <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah. Outrageous. I mean, did, did they get the... So how did they deliver their council tax demands? I, I, mean, I think they get uh, to, to the mainland. I mean, I, I think, I think um, you know, the, the, it kind of came through the wire that they were trying to obtain... <laughs> money for, 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 for him living you know, uh, but there is literally nothing on the island, I mean you have to walk and take a boat and it took me it takes about half a day from the mainland to get there wow. um, so I mean if anything happens on the island, I mean he is in, he is in his late 50, he's now 60 ish, um, and uh, you know if anything happened to him he really would be stuck Stay with us. We're going to hear just a snippet from the film. Okay. Uh, this is Christopher talking about uh, about the place he considers home. Yeah. Yeah, it is my home. I, I mean, I normally I would associate Leeds with my home. I'd say, ah, I'm going home now. But now I'm, 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 it's a battle because I'm, I'm thinking, what is home? home? Leeds isn't my home. It used to be. This is my home. It has been for six years and, I'm, and I expect it will be for another. So uh, another six years, he said. I was about to ask you uh, how yeah. much longer you think he might stay there. Well, I mean, he, funnily enough, actually, recently, um, a, 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 um, a shepherd and his wife moved onto the island as well, and I think that caused a little bit of friction. Um, um, after having this island to himself, uh, you know, I think that 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 kind of caused a bit of friction. I mean, it is a tough place to live. I mean, yeah. especially in the summer, it's incredible. But in the winter months, it's really tough. And, you know, I, I think it's the journey that he takes. I mean, the film really is about someone who you really wouldn't expect to find in a place like that, living in a place like that. You know, he's from Holbeck. in a city, Holbeck, yeah. you know, yeah. and he he's really kind of completely negated his, his past life. And I think, and it's funny, his kind of situations we were watching when we were back in Leeds because the documentary follows him back to Leeds um, we were watching a um, you know a Ray Mears program and Ray Mears were kind of brandishing a knife um, and talking about you know doing 
and work and chris started to laugh and he said you know if i get caught with a knife <laughs> which i need when i'm traveling when you know because he really hit he hitchhikes and 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 lives in a tent when he's traveling and he he get it takes him a couple of weeks to get back to, back to leeds um you know he said if i was ever caught with a knife by the police and i explained that i was using this as a as a tool they would arrest me because of my because of my accent and the way I look. But and, and he's not coming back. I mean, he's got a home in Leeds that he's going to come back to. He does. I mean, his mother lives in Leeds and right. his family lives in Leeds. But his brother um, Martin is also somewhat. You know, he also travels and 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 you know they they, they enjoy walking. I mean, they 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 walk. They've walked almost the whole country, um, and um, you know he he that's what they enjoy doing. Wow, there's so many other questions I'd like to ask you. We're running out of time, but yeah. the answer is to go and see the movie. Please because do. I mean, the more the better. It'd yeah. be wonderful to see it, and it's a, it's a homegrown story. So <laughs> it does sound an absolutely fascinating story. Uh, and it was the psychology of the guy, which I assume you look into, must be quite fascinating. I mean, my well. island, yeah, is really about he he is an island. He he's made these choices, yeah. and it's incredible. From from an early age, he's made these choices. So uh, yeah. Excellent. Well, we look forward to the Leeds Film Festival and that movie. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, Matthew Houston there joining us from uh, from London to talk about his movie.